Good morning, guys. Welcome to my channel. I am Lena E. And before we get started, like, comment, and subscribe. Share to anyone you feel that is helpful in reference to these uh, series. Um, this will be the last story in reference to domestic violence. Um, because I don't want to keep going into that because I'm past that, but I just wanted to help others. But I do write about it in my books. So if you want more um, domestic violence stories and things that uh, happen to um, <clears throat> people before um, going to Christ and sometimes after Christ, um, you can just get my books. They are testimonies of things that I've seen and just some are love stories and um, people going through like the transition of from before Christ and then entering into Christ. So they're really good books. You can check um, out the in the um, reviews on Amazon. So that'll give you an idea of <laughs> the books. So <clears throat> like I said, this is going to be my last one in reference to domestic violence. And then I'm going to get on to more um, positive things and then I may drop tidbits every now and then but uh in reference to the series like being so focused on uh domestic violence and things like that I won't be doing um a lot but this is the last of the series so I want to just add in in reference to the guy that I had been um speaking about he was a drug dealer Maybe some of you have already figured that out, but he was a drug dealer at the time. And um, as you all know, if you have been following me, my parents were addicted to drugs. So, <clears throat> excuse me, that was his uh, advantage in that situation. That's how he benefited from the situation. And my parents also benefited from the situation. And that gave him power. He had money. And he felt as if he can do what he wanted to do. So I was on the end of a lot of him feeling as if he can do what he wanted to do. So the abuse was not only uh, verbal, but physical as well. And <clears throat> excuse me, I eventually got away from that. And the crazy part about it is the day that I decided to fight back is uh the day that um i realized that he was a chump the whole time chump and if you don't know what that means like he couldn't fight <laughs> but when somebody has you mentally um at such a young age uh if you've been following it you'll know that i was 14 when i met him 15 when i had uh his child and he had my mind. He had my mind. I was a virgin and I was set up to be with him. So that's how he was able to do the things that he did. And it was a, it was a time where he put a gun to my head and told me that, um, if I leave, he was going to kill me. And I truly believed it. That was before I found out he couldn't fight <laughs> but it, it's very heartbreaking because you have a lot of young girls dealing with older men who manipulate them and once they have your mind it's like it's it's hard to get out of that and especially as a young as a young child because I was a child and he was allowed to date me, you know. There there are many stories that are like mine, worse than mine. It's all abuse. So I have so much to say, but so little time. But I won't keep putting this out on YouTube, <clears throat> excuse me, YouTube. I just ate my breakfast and I choked a little bit. I won't keep putting this out on YouTube. A lot of this will be in the books because that is a way to release and let go and also help other people. So as I stated earlier, if you go to my reviews, 
you will see how much I have helped others and you will see the realness in the stories and for some people who are um, sensitive to a lot of things and don't want to hear it I mean that's your choice you know you don't have to read them but if you feel like you're alone and nobody else goes through what you go through or have went through these books will show you that you're not the only one and there is you know a light at the end of the tunnel because it is for me you know I was told that I will be just like my parents but look at me I am a model I am an authoress I write and I have my own business I also work full-time but I'm do and I'm a speaker so I I do everything that I love because not only does it benefit me but it benefits other people as well and that is the goal is to leave a legacy that not only benefits me but others as well so until my next video you all keep God first stay blessed stay safe out here I love you and God loves you too